Hi friends, today let's see how we can manage withholding taxes in Odo 50. So withholding tax can also be called as a retention tax and it is a government requirement for the payer of a customer invoice to withhold or deduct the tax from the payment and we can pay the tax to the government. So in most cases, these withholding taxes are applied to employment income. So we can create a withhold tax. So we can open taxes and let's create a new one. Uh, let's create a retention. 20 percentage. Then we can compute the tax uh, by percentage of price or percentage of price tax included or by setting a fixed amount or by adding group of taxes, group of sub taxes for using Python code. So uh, here let me add, compute the tax by 20 percentage of price. And in Odo, a withholding tax is defined by creating a negative tax. So along with this 20, you have to put a negative sign. Then in order to make it appear as a retention on the invoice, you should set a specific tax group retention on your tax. So under advanced option, here we can choose a tax group. So here we can choose a tax group retention. Then now let's save this tax. And here we can open a product. And inside the product form, you can view the field customer taxes. So there, let me add the retention 20 percentage. And after saving the product form, if you create a customer invoice, You can see that retention 20 percentage is added as a default tax. Now here below, you can see from the total amount, an amount negative 1200 is being deducted. This is a 20 percentage of the product price. So in normal taxes, the tax is added to the subtotal to give you the total to pay. Like, uh, Here you can see uh, we have an invoice created before and you can see we have applied tax GST 20 percentage. So here you can see sub taxes of GST 20 percentage, SGST, CGST and these uh, tax amount were added with the subtotal to give a grand total. So the customer have to pay uh, the amount by including the tax. But in this case, you can see the retention 20 percentage is deducted from the total amount. So, so the tax will be paid by the customer later to the government. So in this case, the customer owes 1200 of taxes to the government. So now the invoice can be confirmed and the payment can be registered if uh, the payment is done by the customer. So you can see the amount registered is the amount without including the tax. So this is how a withholding tax uh, can be created and managed in over 15.